Hey, what's going on guys? Powerful Sway. I'm making the video to show you guys the best build that I use to farm Brainiac in Season 3 of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. As most of you guys know, Brainiac can be a little tricky at times and probably a little intimidating. But this season, it's actually pretty easy to defeat Brainiac. Um, as you guys can see, the build I'm running right here. Uh, this season, I don't know if this applies to any other Brainiac, but you can actually apply poison to Brainiac. And I would say for the melee, like again, you can run any melee you want. Um, I think... For today, I think I'm running the reverse flash melee. It just depends. Um, it's really just preference. But so yeah, back to what I was saying. You can apply poison to Brainiac this season, which can basically open up a lot of opportunities, and it makes it really, really easy because he takes huge ticks of poison damage. And I think too, if you pair it up with like a stacked deck, obviously I have to test it, but it can be pretty, pretty destructive. Um, so yeah. Like what I said, I'm going to be showing you guys a Brainiac boss fight. I've completed Brainiac's boss fight with this loadout on Mastery 100, Mastery 90. Um, but today's demonstration is Mastery 70. So, and then obviously, Talent Tree. So yeah, because I, I, I forget who exactly commented, but someone asked if I could make a build and show you guys how to defeat Brainiac. Um, I assume it doesn't really matter the Mastery, but 70 I would say is pretty, pretty high. And like what I said, I've been able to do Mastery 100 just fine with this build. Um, the only problem, though, with this build is sometimes the poison won't apply. I'm not sure exactly why that is. I believe it's a glitch. Um, but you'll start to notice when I get my first crit on Brainiac, the poison will start ticking away. And as you can see, he is just losing a lot of health very, very quickly. And it's pretty easy. So it's nothing, nothing really stressful because, like... Obviously, too, I think Brainiac this season has probably the least amount of health he's ever had from a season perspective. Because, like, when you do high mastery with Brainiac, like, he normally has a ton of health. But with the poison being applied to him, he loses health pretty quickly. As you can look at the top of the screen, look at his health bar just slowly just disappearing with the poison. As you can see, we're able to get a big counter right there to and just do a ton, ton of damage. And honestly, it doesn't take that long. And since, you know, you don't really... The only reason you would do high Brainiac Mastery is to for leaderboard placement. But for, like, for me, I want to get Corrupted Gear. So, I feel like 70 is, like, a good mark. But, you know, like what I said, I have been able to do 190. So, like, if you want to test the boundaries, you probably can do a lot higher Mastery. Um, another reason, too, why I haven't done high Mastery, I just haven't grinded... And I have a problem with the boss fights, so when I defeat Brainiac, sometimes my game will crash. Not sure why that is, but as you can see, he lost a ton of health right there. And the poison is just slowly ticking away. Um, the poison's a pretty big deal on high mastery, I will say. That's going to be your main source of damage output, is the poison ticks. And like what I said, I don't know what causes it, but sometimes the poison will tick, and sometimes the poison won't tick. And when the poison doesn't tick, it takes a very long time. But when the poison's ticking, this boss fight can go by pretty quickly. I think I did master. You guys can find me on leaderboard, actually, for solo Brainiac. I think I did this boss fight in, like, 11 minutes. So it doesn't take a very long time. Obviously, there's the setup. The setup's easy, though. The setup's not really the struggle. It's just getting the Brainiac and defeating Brainiac. But, um, yeah, and like, like, like what I said, too. Compared to previous seasons, this is the most unique season, and I think my favorite Brainiac boss fight by far, just because of how short the boss fight is, how short the setup is, and how easy it is to defeat him. As you can see right there, we are just doing a ton of damage. Now, it's not high damage numbers, by all means, by, by, like, by any means. We're not doing high damage to Brainiac, but it's the poison that's taking away his health bar and being a very, very critical reason to why we're able to basically deplete his health at Mastery 70. Now, I know Mastery 70 is not really high, but most people just sort of want good Brainiac builds for Corrupted Gear. And with how Corrupted Gear drops this season, I mean, you don't really have to stress on high Mastery anymore. It's just really if you just want the recognition of leaderboard placement. As you can see right there, we're just melting away at his health bar. And the, the longest thing about this boss is obviously just having to wait for the Constructs to spawn and defeat them. Or destroy them. I don't know why I said defeat them. But, so yeah, right there we get the constructs. And we just got to wait a little bit longer. And then basically, we'll be done with this boss fight. It's just crazy, like, how quick it can be and how, like, fast the boss fight goes by. As you can see, like, 
once we're able to finally get a shot on them, the poison will go back to applying. And that will basically be the end of the boss fight. As you can see right there, he's basically dead. As you can see, he's finished off. And that was pretty quick. I think that was like about three minutes, four minutes. So, like you guys can see at Mastery 70, like we're basically just clearing out Brainiac. And as you can see right there, I shot him and my game froze. But it doesn't matter. We were able to go back, defeat him again at Mastery 70. And then I ended up getting some pretty good rewards. I wanted to show this just to show you guys, like, you guys do get some pretty insane drops with the Corrupted gear. As you can see right here, I was going, 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 and I ended up getting, yep, the Corrupted Dr. Phosphorus Radiating Heat LMG, which is just insane because it has the best rate of fire in the game. As you can see, we got two Corrupted items. This was from our Daily Mayhem bonus. I've had even better Daily Mayhem bonuses. Like the other day, I got four Corrupted items. So that was amazing in itself, but this was definitely worth it getting this. So as you guys can see, Mastery 70, these are the rewards. We got two corrupted items. So yeah, um, like I just said, you guys wanted a build to farm Brainiac, the best build. And I would say this build is probably the quickest way to farm Brainiac because my, like looking at my time on the leaderboards, like I have one of the highest times, not high mastery. Um, I'll probably have to come up with a different build for high mastery Brainiac, but for just simply farming Brainiac and farming Corrupted Gear. This is the best build you want. Anyways, though, this is Pineapple Sway. Peace out.